so let's take a closer look at this thing. Now, <laughs> this here actually has two different robotic That is so uh, cool. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to an all-new episode of Conflict. Today, we're looking at the all-new update by Wondershare Filmora. That is right. The latest AI update is out, and that is the 13.4 update featuring AI voice changer, animated subtitles, and audio-driven text. That is right. More AI goodies, which we'll be showcasing today. Now, I personally use Wondershare Filmora for a lot of my editing just because the actual uh, app itself is quite easy to use and the software is quite user friendly and it's a great way to do editing on the spot on the fly without having to do it on your phone or something more intense in terms of software goes. So let's just dive right into it. All right, so I have the new update here. So this year's 313.4.7. And to kind of give you a little demo, I went ahead and used one of my latest videos. This year is regarding Adam, a robot that I just reviewed. Um, but what we're gonna do is highlight some of the newest AI updates. So the first thing I wanna show you is the audio off the back. So this is the audio. All right, so let's take a closer look at this thing. Now, this year actually has two different robotic arms uh, in which both arms have all right, so just right off the back, that's just my regular voice, right? But the new AI voice changer allows us to go ahead and adapt and essentially change the voice of what's happening. So to do that, it's actually quite simple. So you just go and click on the video file just like this. You click on audio, and then there's the new voice changer button. So you have some filters. So you have your phone, you have your old radio. All right, so let's take a closer look at this thing. Now, this year... Um, and then you even have specific characters. So I could do like a minion. All right, so let's take a closer look at this thing. Now, <laughs> this year actually has two different robotic That is so cool. Uh, in which both arms... You have an AI robot. All right, so let's take a closer look at this thing. Now, this year... You have a traditional. All right, so let's take a closer look at this thing. Now, this year actually has two... So that's kind of cool that you can go ahead and change it up a little bit if you want right, to. So uh, or you can, you know, change it in terms of whatever you're filming. It's entirely up to you and it's that simple as a matter of a click and that is it. So really cool stuff. Now, the next thing that we're going to highlight it is the all new animated subtitles. So this is kind of interesting because obviously subtitles is a big deal at this exact moment. So every time somebody's looking at a video on their phone, they like to read what they're saying essentially because it's quite difficult, honestly. So the way that works is you click the particular video file just like this and then you see this little button right over here this here's our spec, uh, speech to text button I'm gonna click that and I want to click on this new feature it says add automatical active words so I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click on OK now this is gonna work its magic uh, it does transcoding, it uploads it, and it's essentially translating everything uh, to kind of play it all out in terms of caption goes. But the new thing is the animated subtitles. So a lot of times just having plain subtitles does work. However, having animation to it is very important as it kind of emphasizes different things. If you want to go ahead and make a word pop out, things like that. All right, so there we go. We are done. So now we have our titles here so you can see it is already technically animated but i wanted to show you how it kind of works you just click the particular title there and you have your different templates here on the right so i can pick and choose based on what i like and there's a lot of variations so if i click play here freedom so in other words it can move in different ways more you can imagine how cool is that so you can pick and choose based on what your personal liking is and it does emphasize certain words making it a little bit more easier for the viewer to watch your videos now, the last thing we're gonna be looking at is the audio-driven text. So this is also kind of interesting because what it does is it uses your audio that you're using or your title and it'll kind of animate it based off of the, the audio itself. So let's just go ahead and try this out. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning here and I'm gonna click on titles. Now, under titles, under title templates, we're already added, it's called audio-driven text, which you can see right here and you can pick one based on your liking. So this one here is pop. So I'm gonna put that in drag and drop. Um, and then what this does is it will pull it up like this, but you can see All right, so let's it'll take move a look at this thing. with uh, the audio. This here actually has two different robotic arms uh, in which both arms have... <laughs> so that's also gives it a little bit more of like a fun vibe to it. And of course you can customize it based on your liking and they have different variations that you can choose from. It's entirely up to you. So that's actually really nice because one, it really gives you a unique way of showcasing your videos and unique way to kind of highlight your titles. And that is really cool. So again, be sure to go ahead and check out Filmora, Wondershare, 
in the link below for your very own. And I love the fact that this software is super duper easy to use. Now, other than that, be sure to go ahead and check out the all new features and download Filmora now.